Well, while we're fooling around with the people's key of C, I think it would be fun to do a tune that I at least always associate with, Mississippi John Hurt. Playing of the tune itself is fairly simple. It's not to say I play it just like John Hurt. There's a lot of little subtle things that he gets in there that I'm not even pretending to get. There's a tune that's called Make Me a Pallet on Your Floor. And again, it's an extremely well-known folk song. But I wanted to do one where I could show the kinds of possibilities you can do with these songs that only have uh, three, or in this case, four, maybe it has four chords in it. But a very simple chord progression, but you can really, uh, I think, go a lot of places with it. So I'm mostly going to use this as an example. I've got one or two variations that I've written out, but I'm also going to try to really improvise. And so you can get a look at how that can be done. It's something I've never understood why a lot more people didn't do. Uh, it seems like a lot more fun kind of music to me than tuning your guitar to a weird chord and just sort of fiddling around with it, but that's me, I guess. Anyway, I'll go ahead and try to play a version of it, and hopefully it'll sound better than that. Let's see. Pallet on the floor. dealing mostly here with just simple first position chords. Um, I think I'm only getting up to what would be called anything more elaborate than that, one or two points in here. And just about anything that's going on has already been covered uh, when we talk about uh, doing the F7 and that sort of thing. Uh, here's an E seventh chord that uh, I think you'd know by now. It's similar to ones that we had back earlier when we were looking at the tunes in E. Looks like a D seventh moved up. And then you can go again, uh, one more fret, and you get an F seventh, logically enough, after the E seventh. And sometimes I'm using this diminished chord. Uh, this diminished chord is like the best way, really, for fingerstyle to do a diminished chord, you've got a little half bar on the second, third, fourth strings with your index finger, middle finger over on the bass string, and then the ring finger on the third. And 
that's the kind of thing that after you're this kind of progression, you're in F, or you could use an F7, which gives a bluesier feeling, of course. Then you just come up there, or even slide your thumb up like that. And I think what we're mostly going to have to do here is just let me do a different version. We're going to look now, and I'll play it real slow so you can follow it all on the split screen. Oh, before we do that, there is one other thing to talk about. I have a variation on that that I do more or less set. Now, I think you can see what that is. This is an F chord. This is a good way to do an F. In fact, we have this as an A seventh. Here it is as S seventh. Of course, now you've got to use your thumb. So that's just a little finger down there. actually comes from a Jolly Roll Morton tune. Do, 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 do. I can't remember which tune. Do, 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 do. It might come from the Pearls. In any case, I'll, I'll have to sort of go back and check with myself later when I got time to figure it out. But it works real well as a little variation in here. And then this doesn't. The E. I think now we can just go on to the split screen and I'll play it nice and slow. And the improvisation that I do this time, I will write out. And of course, it'll be a little different from the first one, but I think it'd be instructional to you to go ahead and compare that. So let's split the screen and try a pallet on the floor. Seven. C. E seven and then F and D. C to C seven. that Jolly Roll Morton thing. It is from the Pearls, by the way. I asked myself, and Professor Mee said yes. Chug wine. 